today we shall introduce ourselves to romanticism 1815 to 1848 the objectives of this module are appreciate the reasons and meaning of romanticism understand the various aspects of romanticism look at the basic characteristics of each component the components are introduction characteristics comparison between styles germany and romanticism romanticism in literature and we shall also discuss romanticism and music romanticism is a movement of 18th and 19th centuries that marked the reaction in literature philosophy art religion and politics from the neoclassicism and formal orthodoxy of preceding period beginning in germany and england in the 1770s by the 1820s it had swept through europe conquering at last even its most stubborn foe the french it traveled quickly to western hemisphere and its musical form has traveled around the globe so that from london to boston to mexico city to tokyo to bloody was stoke to oslo the most popular orchestral music in the world is that of romantic era after almost a century of being attacked by the academic and professional world of western formal concert music the style has reasserted itself as new romanticism in the concert halls when john williams created the sound of the future in star wars it was the sound of 19th century romanticism still the most popular style for epic film soundtracks it redefined the fundamental ways in which people in the western cultures thought about themselves the world the role of spirit soul instinct and rebellion against established social rules and scientific approach to much human dilemmas it emphasizes feelings sensitivity passion emotion and imagination as sources of knowledge the movement also placed great value on the beauty of nature and the wilderness and often stressed a feeling of nostalgia for a bygone past glorifying the medieval period and folk culture in other words it emphasized on the following imagination intuition realism inspiration individuality it can also be seen as rejection of the precepts of order calm harmony balance idealization and rationality that typified classicism in general and that 18th century neoclassicism in particular it was also to some extent a reaction against the enlightenment and against 18th century rationalism and physical materialism in general romanticism emphasized the individual the subjective the rational the imaginative the personal the spontaneous the emotional the visionary and the transcendental romanticism characterized by the following a deep appreciation of the beauties of nature a general exaltation of emotion over reason and the senses over intellect a turning in upon the self and heightened examination of human personality and its moods and mental potentialities a preoccupation with the genius the hero and the exceptional figure in general 
and the focus on his passions and inner struggles. Individualism, the worth, value and potential of inner self, essentially to democratic equality. A new view of artist as a supremely individual creator, whose creative spirit is more important than strict adherence to formal rules and traditional procedures. An emphasis upon imagination as a gateway to transcendent experience and spiritual truth. An obsessive interest in folk culture, rational and, rational and ethnic cultural origins and the medieval era. A predilection for the exotic, the remote, the mysterious, the weird, the occult, the monstrous, the diseased, and even satanic. Exaltation of common people, possibility of higher purposes for all people. Common feeling or sentiments can be valued and refined as presence of divine or more than human feeling or emotion more important than logic or experience. Anything you want, you can have if you only want it enough. Quest for something greater, desire and loss, plus romance narrative, nostalgia, utopian thought, desire for a perfect community, escapism, disdain for human society beyond the sentimental range of the individual and the family. Though sometimes the narration or a people is romanticized. The romantic period has passed, but its style and values still thrive today in popular forms and familiar attitudes, e.g. Belief in children's innocence and wisdom, youth as golden age, adulthood as corruption and betrayal nature as beauty and truth, especially as the sublime. Heroic individualism, the individual separate from the masses, characters as symbolic types, desire or will as personal motivation. Feeling and emotions take priority over logic and facts. Nostalgia for the past, common people idealize as dependable source of true common sense, idealized or abstract setting. The Gothic as nightmare world of intense emotions. The romantic age of evolution may also refer to liberating changes in the arts and literature, for instance, increasing use of everyday language, free verse, appeals to the common human feelings or emotions and profound social and cultural changes that radically transformed everyday life. Urbanization, early industrialization, movements for equality, expanding markets and wealth for increasing number of people following the Enlightenment's institutionalization of constitutional government, free market economics and advances in science, medicine, hygiene and nutrition. The era of romanticism also saw the artist as supreme, nature as the underlying concept of most works, nationalism gaining roots in art and emotions of artists winning over his rationale. Romanticism and Classicism. In the previous module, we saw the neoclassicism begin to talk about common people and exalted virtues of valor and heroism. It used stylistic features such as the use of diagonals, overall lighting, and had a complete canvas. So what is the difference between neoclassicism and romanticism? Is there any difference? Well, there are differences, subtle and big. One thing that we have to remember there is that neoclassical artists that we discussed in our previous module 
also belong to the romantic era that is they could paint in both styles you will see that certain paintings can be looked upon through both the lenses also the painters will be common but let us look at the differences between the two styles first in most cases the differences between the two are starker in theory than in practice there are a number of differences between neoclassicism and romanticism but the biggest tend to center on style thematic focus and the influence of emotion firstly the two difference between the these two philosophies can be said to lie in the difference between reason and emotion between tradition and innovation and between individual and society the individual is the focus of both the styles but essential difference is that of individual is great and can be controlled romanticism showed the individual as enjoying nature getting inspired by it and his passionate emotions are of importance rather than heroism and valor another area in which the two styles diverse is romanticism's focus on emotion and sentiment rather than reason it might be safe to say that these two moments are like the two sides of the same coin new classic paintings and sculptures are calm and rational new classic paintings and sculptures are calm and rational new classic art pays attention to detail because of straight hard line structures in paintings and sculptures there is very little color and brush strokes are not visible new classic art is moral and inspirational you feel the divine in the classic art generally figures in the new classic art will be in the foreground romantic paintings and sculptures value imagination and intuition most of the images from the romantic period in art land from nature and middle and far east for inspiration and you see characteristics from the baroque and the medieval romantic art and sculpture is subjective does not conform and is spontaneous you will also see a lot of violence depicted in romanticism curvy lines visible brush strokes deep rich colors you see more than shades of blues and yellows romantic art is very dramatic and you are drawn into the paintings the figures of romantic art are very crowded and generally have a zenith romantic painters and sculptors tended to express an emotional personal response to life in contrast to the restraint and universal values advocated by new classical art romantic art did not displace the new classical style but rather functioned as a counterbalance to the latter's severity and rigidity although romanticism declined about 1830 it influence continued long after look at this chart of comparison now it is a comparison between new classicism romanticism realism and modernism and now let us understand better with comparing these two paintings one of the new classical and the other of romantic period in this figure this quintessential neo classical painting was inspired by the 17th century drama horace a roman hero and goes back to roman history with morality tales the three sons of horace are pleading an oath to the state symbolic of the men's historic willingness to sacrifice themselves for the state with the women's emotional commitment to family ties the sword is the vanishing point which is very symbolic also the composition is a classic pyramid divided into three compartments the women are shown weak 
and the children are frightened. The painting was a royal commission and during the ages of reason, the world could be known through study and a painter could paint a rational painting that could change the world. In this figure, the romantic painting chronicles Napoleon's military campaigns. Romanticism is seen in the use of elements such as dramatic lighting, emotionally stimulating elements. Main action is meant to incite veneration, not Republican values. At the center of small group of soldiers and a doctor, Napoleon calmly reaches towards the source of one of the victims. The image of Christ-like figure healing the sick with his touch, consciously intended to promote him as semi-divine. Also, this painting is an idealized account of an actual incident, much like Napoleon crossing the Alps. In the module 23, the arches here are inspired by the previous paintings, Germany and Romanticism. The movement began in Germany where it was motivated largely by sense of world weariness, a feeling of isolation and a yearning for nature. Later, romantic tendencies also appeared in English and French painting. The roots of philosophical romanticism can be found in the work of Jean-Jacques Rousseau and Emmanuel Kant. Rousseau, who is credited with the idea of the noble savage, uncorrupted by artifice and society, thought that civilization fills man with unnatural wants and seduces him away from his true nature and original freedom. Kant's theory of transcendental idealism posited that we do not directly see things in themselves. We only understand the world through our human point of view. The German idealists who followed on from Kant and adapted and expanded his work with their own interpretations of idealism can all be considered romantic in their outlook. Among these, the most important were John Gottlieb Fichte, Friedrich Schilling, George Wilhelm Friedrichs, Hegel, and arguably Arthur Schopenhauer. Hegel was perhaps the most influential of the German idealist philosopher, and his idea that each person's individual consciousness or mind is really part of idealism had for reaching effects. In German art, Friedrich Schinkel, Gothic Cathedral by the Water, 1813, Gothic Church on a Cliff by the Sea, and the Medieval City of River, show a cathedral on the apex of a hill, high above a town, a spiritual destination to which town dwellers must climb as if on a pilgrimage. It epitomizes the romantic notion of Gothic cathedral as an emblem of German national unity and spiritual renewal. The image must be read as a romantic allegory and not as an accurate architectural perspective. The preferred genre among romanticists was landscape painting. Nature was seen as the mirror of the soul, while in politically restricted Germany, it was also regarded as a symbol of freedom and boundlessness. 
Thus, the iconography of romantic art includes solitary figures set in the countryside, gazing longingly into the distance, as well as Venita's motif, such as dead trees and overgrown ruins, symbolizing the transience and finite nature of life. This painting by Friedrich is about the relationship between man and nature. It also suggests at once mastery over landscape and the insignificance of the individual within it. We see no face, so it is impossible to know whether the prospect facing the young man is exhilarating or terrifying or both. Romanticism in Literature Romanticism initiated by the English poets such as Coleridge and Wordsworth as well as Blake, Keats and Shelley was concentrated primarily in the creative expression of literature and the arts. However, the philosophy and the sentiment characteristics of the Romanticism moved uh, of the Romanticism movements would spread throughout the Europe and would ultimately impact not only the arts and humanities, but the society at large, permanently changing the ways in which human emotions, relationship, and institutions were viewed, understood, and artistically and otherwise reflected. The Enlightenment was the name given to the period that preceded the Romantic Age and it is in understanding the key features of the Enlightenment that one can best understand how the characteristics of Romanticism came to be, how they differed so radically from those of the industrialized era. The Enlightenment had developed and championed logic and reason above all other qualities and there was little room in this worldview for the emotion based nature and would define romanticism. According to the enlightenment view, people and their relationship, roles, institutions and indeed their whole societies could be understood best if organized and approached with a little scientific perspective. However, some of the earliest and most profound writings of the romantic period were not the poems themselves, but manifestos and discourses on the nature of human beings and creative expression, such as Coleridge's Biographia Literaria, Shelley's Defense of Poetry, and Wordsworth's Preface to Lyrical Ballads. In these three exemplary prose pieces, the romantic poets promote their vision of what poetry and by extension society should be. These ideals of romanticism first articulated by the English poets spread to the other artistic genres including music and visual arts such as well as to other countries. For these countries which had not yet coalesced in terms of their own national identity. The Romanticism offered a creative framework for defining and expressing what was unique to that region. For Romanticism was inherently creative and imaginative, inviting its adherents to envision possibilities that might never have been entertained before. Romanticism and Music In the wake of Romantic Revolution in literature came a similar revolution in music. About 1820, Beethoven began to write passionate compositions which often threatened to burst asunder the classical forms in which he worked. His 1824 symphony Number one is notable not only for its length and complexity, but for the fact that he introduced vocal, soloist, and chorus into the fine movement, 
as if the purely instrumental form of the classical symphony could not express all that he felt. After this radical departure from tradition, many composers felt free to experiment. Beethoven is also significant in the history of music for being the first composer to earn his living directly from his own work without being subsidized by a church or orchestra. He benefited from the emergence of a new bourgeois audience, which could afford to buy tickets for Beethoven's concerts. With the money he received from lessons, from sale of his compositions, and from his public performances, Beethoven was able to survive, if not to prosper. This was a crucial factor in allowing him to express his extreme individualism, rejecting the role of artistic servant, within which even giants like Haydn and Mozart had been confined. He could write as he pleased and challenge the public to follow him. The program symphony, pioneered by Beethoven and now developed by Hector Berlois, its offshoot and symphonic poem was developed by Franz Lisch, the concert overture, examples of which are composed by Felix Mendelssohn and virtually every composer thereafter and short expressive piano pieces written by bourgeois salons of the Europe in Robert Schumann and Frederick Chopin. Italian operas were composed in bel canto traditions and these led directly to the masterworks of Giuseppe Verdi. While the idea of German music drama was established by Richard Wagner, for inspiration, many romantic composers turned to the visual arts, to poetry, drama, and literature, to nature itself, using the classical forms of sonata and symphony as a starting point. Composers begin focusing more on new melodic styles, richer harmonies, and even more dissonance in the pursuit of moving their audiences, rather than concerning themselves with the structural discipline of classical forms. Thank you.